harder, son, sitting idle won't achieve anything. We have to do something, or we'll spend our entire lives sitting in this park. We have very little money left. We need to work to keep the cycle going. Yes, mom, you're right. I'm also searching for a job, and it's become very important to find one because we can't survive without it. Listen to me. Today, we need to work. You should go out and look for a job and I'll go to various hotels and restaurants to see if they can hire me, maybe as a dishwasher, or perhaps they'll hire me to cook because I can cook very well. Mom, I have a lot of hope in God. He will be kind to us and change our lives. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. We've been living in this park for quite some time now, but I still have a lot of hope in God. I believe He loves us so much that He will ease our path and make our difficulties easier. Today, you go look for a job, and I'll look for one too. I understand what you're saying, Mom. Let's both go in search of jobs. If either of us gets a job, we'll have enough money to move into a rental room and make our lives easier. Yes, son, you're right. Let's try, and leave the rest to God, who listens to all prayers in the name of Jesus. Yes, madam, how can I help you? Why have you come here? Listen, son, I am a very desperate woman and I'm in a lot of trouble. I have come to your hotel because I visited many restaurants before this, but I couldn't find work anywhere. I'm requesting you to give me a job here. You can have me wash dishes or check my cooking if you want. I can cook very well. I really need a job and I'm very distressed. Listen, I understand. But I can't hire anyone without the owner's permission. I need to ask my hotel owner and get his approval. If he agrees, then I can hire you. We have many highly professional cooks who prepare and serve food here. This is a very large restaurant, and we have to maintain a certain standard in our cooking. I can't just hire anyone for cooking. Okay, I understand. You don't have to hire me as a cook, but at least give me a job as a dishwasher. I'm very troubled and I've come here with a lot of hope. Please don't refuse me. Talk to your owner and see my desperation. I'm at an age where it's hard for me to come to places like this. It would be a great favor if you hire me. You remind me of my mother, and I respect you a lot. But as I said, I can't hire you without the owner's permission. Please wait for two minutes while I make a call. If he agrees, I'll hire you. Okay. Go ahead and talk to your owner. Please explain my situation to him. Maybe he'll hire me. All right. <coughs> Sir, there's an elderly woman here who is very needy and distressed. She says she needs a job, even as a dishwasher. There's no doubt that she's in a desperate situation. I've told her clearly that I can't hire anyone without your permission. Listen, if she's really desperate and in distress, then tell her we can hire her for a few hours as a test. If she does a good job washing the dishes, we can consider making her position permanent. But make sure you explain to her that we will hire her for five to six hours as a trial. We will pay her for this period, and if her performance is good, we can hire her permanently. Understood, sir. I'll convey this to the elderly woman as you instructed. Okay, make sure she understands clearly. I spoke with the hotel owner, and he said we can hire you for 5 to 6 hours as a test. If your performance is good, we can make your position permanent. Thank you very much. God has heard my prayers, and I got a job here. You have no idea how much you've helped me. It's no big deal. It's good that you'll be working here. If your performance is good, the owner said he will hire you permanently. Please let me know when I should start work. You should come tomorrow at 8 a.m. and work until 2 p.m. We'll pay you daily, and it will be settled every day. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. All right, no problem at all. I don't know where to adjust you because we already have a lot of staff here. You are not highly educated, 
otherwise I could have given you some accounting work. Sir, I'll do any work you give me. Even if you ask me to clean the washrooms, I'll do it. Please adjust me here. Okay, listen. There's one thing you can do. You will stand at the gate and check the tickets of customers as they enter after buying them at the counter. You need to check their tickets and guide them to their seats. Can you do this job? Keep in mind, this job isn't easy. Customers can often behave rudely. If you think you can handle it, let me know. Sir, I've seen tougher times than this. These things don't matter to me anymore. I've faced huge challenges in my life. Standing before you today, you can't imagine the ocean of sorrows I've endured. This job is nothing in comparison. Please just give me the job. All right, if you're insisting this much, come back in two days. Sir, I have one request. I need accommodation for myself and my elderly mother. It would be a great favor if you could arrange that for us. Fine, I'll see about the accommodation. There's a room available on the cinema's backside. It's usually empty. I'll get the fan fixed and you can stay there with your mother. No problem. Thank you very much, sir. You have no idea how much you've helped me. I'm not doing you a favor, and I'm not giving you money for free. You work, and I'll pay you for it. Now go and come back in two days. Remember, you'll have 300 days of work in a year and the duty will be very tough. Sir, you don't need to worry. When you see my performance, you'll understand how dedicated I am. All right then, you can leave now. Oh God, I come before you in the name of Jesus, with a heart full of gratitude and thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayers and providing me with this job. You have shown me your mercy and kindness in my time of need, and I am deeply grateful. Jesus, I thank you for the strength and perseverance you have given me to face my challenges. Thank you for opening doors and creating opportunities when it seemed there were none. I trust in your plan for my life, and I believe that you are guiding my steps. I pray that you bless this job and help me to perform my duties with excellence, integrity, and humility. Give me the wisdom to handle difficult situations and the grace to interact kindly with others. May my work be a testament to your goodness and may it bring glory to your name. I also lift up my mother to you, Lord. Thank you for providing a place for us to stay. I pray for her health and well-being. Surround her with your love and peace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. O oh God, I come to you with a heart full of gratitude and joy. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for answering my prayers and providing me with this job. Your love and faithfulness have been my strength through these difficult times, and I am deeply grateful for your provision. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to work and for the kindness shown to me. You have made a way when it seemed impossible, and I trust that you will continue to guide and protect us. I pray that you bless my work help me to perform my duties diligently and with a spirit of excellence. Grant me the strength and health I need to do my job well. Let my work be a reflection of your love and goodness. I also lift up my son, Carter, to you. Thank you for his courage and determination. Bless him in his new role, and give him the wisdom and patience he needs. May he find favor in his work and grow in confidence and skill. Lord, thank you for providing us with a place to stay. May your peace and presence fill our new home, and may we always remember to give you praise and thanks for your abundant blessings. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Mother, God has heard our prayers. You know, I got a job and a place to stay. I got a job as a ticket checker at the cinema. I talked to the boss and he said there's an empty room behind the cinema that belongs to him. I asked if we could stay there and he agreed to let us live there. Yes, son, God has answered our prayers and better times are coming for us. You know, I also got a job as a dishwasher at a restaurant. They've hired me on a trial basis and said they'll make me permanent if my skills are good. At least we'll start earning and see some positive changes in our lives. God loves us so much and never leaves us alone in difficult times. You must have realized it now. I believe our tough times are about to end and soon we'll be living a happy life. We might never forget what the world has done to us, but I've learned that God loves us deeply. Yes, 
Son, God never abandons. Having complete faith and trust in Him is crucial. God loves us and cares for us. You have no idea how relieved I am that we have a place to stay. We've been living in this park for so long. Now we have a safe place to call home. You used to stay up half the night watching over me, and then I'd take over while you slept. Those were very difficult times, but we got through them. Yes, you're right. Now you focus on your work and I'll work hard too. Our lives will change for the better, I have a lot of hope. Yes, Mom, I also have a lot of hope. We might never forget what the world did to us. Forgetting what they did to you and to me is essential for us to move forward in life. Don't dwell on it, look ahead. God is our helper. You're right. God is our helper. Carter, let me tell you something. The food at the restaurant where I work is not very enjoyable. Honestly, I don't like the taste of it. But despite that, the restaurant is always packed, and many people come. Mom, who can cook like you? The taste you have in your hands is unique. No one else can match that. Yes, I cook very well, but you know my job is as a dishwasher, so I can't cook there. I'm not allowed to because they have professional cooks who prepare the food and serve it according to orders. They never ask you to show your cooking skills. You make such good food. No, they never offered me that opportunity. I just go, wash dishes, and come back. Tell me about your job. How is it? My job is quite tough, but I'm grateful to God that I got the job. Plus, we've got a room to stay, which makes our lives a bit easier after all the struggles. Yes, you're right. Managing such a large crowd must be difficult for you because the cinema gets very busy with so many different shows. But I've become so strong now that no difficult task seems hard to me. That's exactly what I wanted, to see you become a strong person who can face any challenge. You'll see, one day our circumstances will definitely change for the better. I understand, Mom. You're right. Dear Najee family, as I always share in each episode, when the world turns its back on a person, they often find themselves drawing closer to God. In last two episodes, you have seen how, despite having no fault of their own, the world relentlessly judged the mother and son. Even though the shopkeeper's end was orchestrated by the Carter's father, the world placed the blame on them. Yet, the mother and son did not lose hope. With unwavering faith in God, they navigated through their hardships and continued to fight through their tough situations. It's easy to say, spending days in the park, sleeping, eating, and sitting in the open area is manageable, but only those who experience it firsthand understand the true extent of the pain. They battled with strength and maintained their faith in God. Their story reminds us that life will present many challenges, but we must never lose hope or courage. Always remember, no matter how significant the problems may seem, they are insignificant in front of God. We must confront these problems head on with the belief that God is with us. When one stands firm against any challenge with the belief that God is by their side, even the mightiest obstacles become manageable. Let's see what unfolds in this episode as we continue forward. I would like to request something from you. Please, if you could listen to me, it would be greatly appreciated. Yes, please go ahead. I am listening carefully. If there is an issue, let me know. There is no issue. I just want to request that since you hired me for the dishwashing job, I am doing the job diligently. However, I would like to request just one favor. Please let me prepare one dish and serve it to your customers. If they don't like it, you can let me know, and I will accept any decision you make. I can't take such a big risk. As I was instructed to only take on dishwashing duties and nothing else. I understand that you have highly professional cooks and that your boss pays them well. I am only asking for a small trial. If you could allow me to prepare just one dish, it won't hurt. All right, if you insist, we can let you prepare a small portion of a dish. We will test it with customers, but you will be responsible for any risk involved. If the customers don't like it and the boss decides to remove you from the job, that will be on you. Yes, I accept that. I am willing to take full responsibility. 
I just want a chance to prove myself. Okay, I have no issue with that. You can prepare a small portion of the dish number 7 from our menu. We will have the customers try it and see their feedback. Please try this dish. Our staff has prepared it. If you like it, please let me know. Yes, certainly. I will check it and let you know. Please give it a try. If you like it, do inform us. Sure, I'll definitely check it and let you know. This is very delicious. Please give us more and pack it as well. No, we only prepared a small portion for testing purposes to see if you like it. I really like it. I would like to buy more and have it packed. Alright, we'll prepare it in larger quantities next time you come. It will be available for you then. Please make sure to prepare it and give it to us. We really enjoyed it. Who made this? Is it a new cook? Yes, your feedback is very important to us. Do you realize which restaurant you're in? I've hired highly professional cooks here. Why did you need to have that woman cook? Sir, I only had a small amount prepared to test it for the customers, and they really liked it. Everyone was praising it. I already told you that I hired her only for dishwashing, not for cooking. How could you disregard my instructions? I apologize, sir. I just wanted to check it because she insisted on cooking. If anyone asks you to do something outside of your duties, are you going to comply? This means you value what others say more than my directives. You should be ashamed. Sorry, sir. Please forgive me. I won't make this mistake again. You should know that our cooks have complained. If they leave, it could affect the entire restaurant. Don't misuse your authority. This is your warning, if you don't follow orders, you could lose your job. Now go and tell that woman she should not come to work from tomorrow. But sir, everyone liked her cooking. You're making a mistake. Do as I say. Our cooks have experience from major restaurants, and they're not going to stay if we keep her. We can't risk losing them. Understood, sir. I'll inform her that she shouldn't come to work anymore. Good. Now leave. I told you not to do that, but you didn't listen. The boss has decided to fire you from here. But everyone liked the food. Why is the boss reacting this way? We have strict rules here. You were hired for dishwashing, but you insisted on cooking. Our cooks complained to the boss, and he has instructed me to inform you not to come to work from tomorrow. Look, don't be like that. Everyone liked the food, and I only made a small portion. I've told you what the boss said. You need to accept it. Don't come to work from tomorrow. Alright, I understand. I have been let go from the job today. But listen carefully to what I'm saying and follow through. Mom, why were you dismissed from the job? You had a good position, earning daily, and you saved a lot of money. What happened that led to your dismissal? Forget about why I was let go. Focus on what I'm saying now. I plan to cook meals at home and pack them in small boxes. You will need to do marketing in shopping malls, schools, and colleges, wherever there are many people. After that, I will pack the food, and when you are free from your job, you can sell it to people. I hope the food will be liked, and we can make a living from it. Mother, your idea is fantastic. We both have some money, and this venture looks promising. After my job, I have enough time to work on this. It's a good plan, and we can definitely make it work. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's a small investment, and once it's streamlined, it will become easier. But first, you need to do marketing. You'll have to ask people, inform them because nowadays everyone is so busy. If they get a meal right at their table, they'll appreciate it. Our prices will be very reasonable, 
and the food will be of high quality. People will like it, and our business will take off. You need to have courage. I have no problem with that. I'm ready to take on this task. Since we have some money, we can start this business right away. Yes, you're right. We won't delay any longer. I'll cook meals, prepare rice, vegetables, and small items that people like for lunch. You'll go out and distribute the food to those who place orders. Both Carter and his mother worked incredibly hard, more than anyone could imagine with the belief that God was with them. Their business gradually began to flourish to the point where they needed to hire additional people. Carter continued working in the cinema for a long time, but when his business started to grow, he had to leave that job. Even then, managing the rapidly expanding business alone became challenging. Through God's help, he expanded from a small venture to a sizable operation, hiring a full team. This process took about one to two years. According to the script received via email, remember that no matter how difficult times get, any problem is insignificant before God. If one's faith remains strong, as stated in the Bible, God supports us at every step. Isaiah 41, 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Philippians 4.13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Psalm 46 When God is our refuge and strength, and ever-present help in trouble. These verses emphasize that God provides strength and support to overcome challenges, reinforcing the idea that faith in him brings assistance and resilience. I understand how difficult it must have been for you, and I regret deeply the pain and struggles you've faced because of my actions. I know I failed to support you and your mother when you needed me the most. Your strength and resilience are a testament to your faith and hard work. I see now that my mistakes caused you immense hardship, and I am truly sorry for that. Daddy, despite everything, we never lost faith in God. We worked tirelessly to rebuild our lives and establish our business. It wasn't easy but our trust in God kept us going. Even though we faced severe challenges and sacrifices, we made it through because of our unwavering belief and commitment. But I hope you can understand that we did everything we could to overcome the difficulties. I don't know how much longer I have left to live, but seeing how you and your mother persevered despite everything brings me great joy. I always knew you had the strength and wisdom to overcome challenges, and I'm proud of how you've managed everything. Your mother was always wise and capable, and it's heartening to see you honor her efforts and continue to succeed. Dad, I can never forget the role my mother played in our lives. She transformed a small amount of money into a stable business through sheer determination. Her struggle and strength are unforgettable. Even though our circumstances were dire after you went to jail, her efforts kept us going. I want you to know that we think of you often and wish you well. Please take care of yourself and remember that you are missed. I don't want to revisit the past as it only brings more pain. I acknowledge my mistakes and accept responsibility for the suffering you endured. It makes me happy to see you've achieved stability and success. Please continue to take good care of yourself and honor your mother's legacy. She was an exceptional woman. I hope you find peace and happiness. We'll keep in touch. I hope you like my work. Thanks for watching Nagia Cartoons. May God bless you all. Amen. See you tomorrow with a new topic. Take care everyone. Bye.